Coronavirus Update. I'm Ben Thomas with an AP News Minute. The latest tracking data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and Johns Hopkins University show the number of COVID-19 cases being reported in the U.S. averaging below 40,000 per day, while deaths attributed to the virus are hovering around 350 per day. And the CDC reports about 3,200 people are being admitted to hospitals each day. As for the global picture, while the global situation has obviously improved, World since Health the Organization began, Director General Dr. Tedros Adnam Ghebreyesus, the virus continues to change, and there remain many risks. And on the prospect of new subvariants circulating, that's happening now. Dr. Maria Van Kerkhoff says WHO is tracking more than 300 sublineages worldwide. All of the subvariants of Omicron are showing increased transmissibility and properties of immune escape. Right now, however, Van Kerkhoff says none of them are dominant, but the world needs to remain prepared. In a position to conduct surveillance, to deal with increases in cases, and perhaps deal with increases in hospitalizations. We don't see a change in severity yet, and our vaccines remain effective, but we have to remain vigilant. Meantime, CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky has tested positive for COVID-19. The CDC says she's up to date on her vaccinations, her symptoms are mild, and she's isolating at home. I'm Ben Thomas, AP News.